Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mr. 4 here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about something that was just shown off yesterday at San Diego Comic-Con from Marvel's animation panel. We have a whole bunch of information on Spider-Man Freshman Year, the upcoming animated series set to release on Disney Plus in 2024. Now we got this announcement that it was even in production, i say a, a little bit ago. It wasn't that long ago, but it was a decent while ago. And now, just yesterday, we got a whole bunch of artwork as well as still images from the show. So we will go by all of them, one by one, and I'll give my feelings on, you know, what what is even happening with this show. Because it's very confusing. So, first of all, we have this image of the man of the hour, Peter Parker. As you can see, he looks absolutely nothing like Tom Holland. And that's the first thing I want to bring up is, um... I don't know how this show has anything to do with the MCU. The press releases, as well as Disney emails, say that this is 100% MCU Spider-Man. It is canon to the MCU. I don't... yeah. You'll see as we get further and further into this that that does not make any sense. So, uh, we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll humor them for a bit. But yeah, I, I think Peter is very well designed. He doesn't look like Tom Holland, obviously, but he looks like Peter Parker. He looks like, definitely like a Steve Ditko inspired version of Peter Parker, which is definitely nice to see. The next thing we want is, of course, the homemade Spider-Man suit. Now, as you know, in Spider-Man Homecoming, he doesn't make his own actual suit suit. He just kind of throws together some some weird stuff. And I guess they're taking that same approach. I personally am not a fan of that approach of Spider-Man, of the whole he can't make his own suit thing, when, you know, he can. He has for many years, but... We'll ignore that. We'll just talk about the suit itself. It's not good. I don't like the suit at all. I don't like the eyes being connected in the middle, as well as the whole... I think it looks like they're going to flip up and down, like the stealth suit eyes from Far From Home, which I don't like. Why is he wearing a chip, like a, like a, like a sports jersey? Kind of weird. And why is the spider logo from his back on the front? He doesn't have a front logo. He has the back logo. It's a bit weird. And I, I'm not quite sure about the knee pads. That's a bit funky. Why he tucked his long pants into his shoes, I will never know. That seems like it'd be really uncomfortable. I um, I don't know. I don't like this suit. I really, really don't like it. I like the idea of having the web fluid in the backpack. That's a really neat idea. But the execution of it just... Mm, I don't know. I don't like it. Now, oops, now, here are the rest of the suits. So, uh, okay, so we have a few problems with this. Mainly being, what? 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 This is MCU Spider-Man. They are making it clear, this show takes place in the MCU. What? How? How does it take place in the MCU? If he has the classic suit, why did he get... A new suit from Stark and why didn't he wear it does it get destroyed if so why what 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 the that weird black Batman inspired suit oh uh, it's just ugly it's really really ugly I don't like it at all the Hornet suit being there just confuses me on so so many levels and I'm not even gonna get started on the green uh, the green the yellow with purple pink abomination that looks like a highlighter pen and the future foundation suit i love the future foundation suit it's one of my favorite spider-man suits but to see it here just makes me angry because that just means if the fantastic four don't show up in this show which i highly doubt they will then we'll never see peter get the future foundation suit in the movie which just upsets me because it was so perfect to make a an MCU Fantastic Four movie, have Spider-Man be there, and have him get the Future Foundation suit. Unfortunately, that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So, we're just have to, gonna hope, hope something better comes out of this, but right now I'm not looking too good. Now, as you can see, the next up is the villains. Now, you're probably wondering, how is Doc Ock there if Spider-Man had no idea who Doc Ock is in No Way Home? I, I don't know. I, what do you want from me? I'm just a guy on the internet. I don't know what the hell. I don't know. I don't know. Everything about this just confuses me on so many levels. Why did he make fun of Doc Ock's name in No Way Home? 
I don't know. Why did he have no idea who he was? I don't know. Because even if he was a different, like, look is different, obviously, he would still think, oh, hey, your name is Doc Ock. I have a Doc Ock. No. And you got the buff guy with the red head. That's, uh, that's Rhino. Um, you think he would have said to Andrew, oh, yeah, I fought a Rhino guy, too. No. 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 You got Mac Gargan or the Scorpion. Which doesn't make sense, because as far as we know, he's in prison and hasn't done any Scorpion things yet, because he hasn't become the Scorpion. What? And a whole bunch of villains I don't care about, because I don't know the names of them. And then Chameleon off in the side, because, <laughs> yeah, the, the Chameleon. Because freak you, that's why. What? Isn't he supposed to be working for S.H.I.E.L.D. right now? Doesn't he go by Dimitri or something? What? Why, why is he here? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This, this angers me. Now, the next image is, of course, Peter Parker's friends. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to take a step back, and I want you to look for Ned. Why don't you look for MJ? If you don't see either of them, that's because they're not there. Uh, what? It's Peter, obviously. A scientist kid, two scientist kids, don't know who they are. Maybe that's Mary Jane with the black and white shirt? I don't know. It, it doesn't say. Uh, if that's Mary Jane, then where, the, where did Michelle Jones come from? Uh, maybe the tall girl's Liz Allen? Maybe? I'm guessing the girl in the green is the principal? Who's the goth chick? I don't know. Uh, where's Ned? I don't freaking... I don't freaking know. And the jock... Pretty sure that's Harry Osborn. Which, um, okay. Uh, it's a different take on the character. I'm not gonna shoot it down. A little unexpected, but I'm not gonna say anything bad about it. But Harry can be whoever. Harry could be anybody, so. It's just. Everybody else is just. Who are these people? Why are these people? And Harry being here just aggravates me. Not because, you know, he's different, but because. Harry Osborn doesn't exist in the MCU. Oscorp doesn't exist in the MCU. Norman Osborn doesn't exist in the MCU. If he did, then Peter in No Way Home would have been like, Hey, you're not Norman Osborn. And he would have been like, this is Oscorp's over there. Nope. No. No. It's not there. What? What is this? I don't understand. Here, bear with me. I gotta... Okay. You gotta bear with me here. I'm now I'm getting a little heated. This is Daredevil. So, Daredevil's showing up in this series, and uh, he's voiced by the one and the only Charlie Cox, which is actually really cool. This is the first thing I'm hearing, and I'm like, yep, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty neat. I like it. I do like I do like it quite a lot. It's nice to see Charlie Cox get a lot more love by Marvel recently, because he's going to be in the Echo series as Daredevil. He's going to... He was in No Way Home, of course, and now he's here. So... It's nice to see him, and obviously Peter wouldn't know who he who he is, like if he's Matt Murdock or anything. So, it's I can see it happening. I can see them meeting before. So, no complaints from me. Now, this, 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 this. What? Huh? Why is Doctor Strange here? Why is he here? He's also in a still image, but I couldn't find the image, so I apologize. But you, you can find it easily what is he doing here in infinity war peter didn't know who doctor strange was doctor strange didn't know who peter was so we're just gonna act like they were all buddy buddy this whole time are we just gonna act like that this show is canon i want you to remind you all this show takes place right before civil war it's, it's canon so this is the mcu so why don't any of the people look like MCU actors, why don't they sound like them? Because we know Charlie Cox is the only MCU actor who's actually reprising their role, as far as we know. Tom Holland is not playing Peter. So what the hell is going on? I have a theory. It could be a wrong theory, but I do have a theory. My theory is, we were supposed to get this, and it was going to be 100% MCU canon. And then... Halfway through the development of the show, they were like, mm, actually, let's do our own thing. 
Or, it was never meant to be MCU canon. It was never meant to be that. And instead, it was supposed to be its own standalone series, like Marvel Spider-Man or Ultimate Spider-Man. But instead, Disney put their foot down like, no, that's the MCU. And all the production team just had to go along with it. I don't... I could be wrong, obviously, but I think that's my... That's my theory. And of course, next image we have... Norman... Norman Osborn. Now, if this shot looks familiar, that's because it's exactly the same shot as it in Captain America Civil War when Tony Stark is standing there. Norman Osborn is going to be taking the role of the mentor in this series. Tony Stark, I guess, just says he took a day off. He stopped existing for a few weeks. Huh? What? I mean, cool. I guess. But Norman Osborn doesn't exist in the MCU! Uh... Everything about this just doesn't make sense. I don't mind it, but it's, there's still a lot wrong. And I guess I just th this shot in general bothers me because it doesn't look good. Like the character designs are nice, the suit designs aren't, but the character designs are nice. They're well done and they look cool. They're nice and stylized, like comic characters, and they're nice. My problem is. Everything else around is blank colors, no shadows, and hardly any lighting. You have the lighting on the lamp, and it is not changing the lighting on Peter at all. Nor is it changing any of the lighting on May. It is only slightly changing the lighting on a little bit of Norman. Even then, he has no shadow connected to him. There's no shadows in this shot. Now, of course, the show's not out till 2024, so this is probably early production. So I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna harp on them too much. However, in Marvel's Spider-Man, the series prior, it had the same issue. Everything was a flat colors, there was no texturing, there was no nothing, there was no detail in anything. And there was so there was lack of shadows and some funky animation. The people who worked on it were very, very talented. I'm not saying these people aren't going to be talented, because that's not at all. But they're probably not going to be given the budget and the time they need to make it look amazing. The next shot we have is this one. We have... Of course, Peter standing next to Norman. And again, we have this problem of no shadows, barely any reflections, and just so many flat, uninteresting colors. I know it's trying to be stylized like a comic, but flat colors can work. Like, if you see a spectacular Spider-Man, there's a lot of flat colors, but everything pops so much more, because it's a lot more vibrant. But all these colors are kind of just dull and uninteresting. And again, they don't have any shadows on their body, so they kind of just look like they're- they look like they're cropped in. And then, we have this image. This is the final image I have to show, but it's the final image I can find. And, we, of course, it's, uh, our good old friend Spider-Man fighting a torch guy. Can't remember his name. I- I know, fake fan. But this- this is an action shot, our only action shot, I think. I think we have one other shot of Spider-Man- Swinging behind a bus, and that's the only other action shot. Couldn't find that shot. I apologize again. The internet has been very weird with this show. But as you can see, I think this is a little later in production because his uh, his jersey has changed into a hoodie. He now has like a it's kind of looks like a parka. It's weird. It has had the texture of a like a winter coat, and the backpack is red now. And if we bring back an image from earlier, oh, hide this image. As you can see, the backpack is black, and his shirt, of course, is a jersey, and it's blue. Let me just get rid of that one. Oh, wrong image. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and then we get this one. Um, yeah, it definitely looks like it's a little further into production. His gloves are also a different color, as well as the knee pads, instead of being red, they're silver. And his shoes. His shoes are the most notable difference. They are, for some reason, red now, so they fit with the rest of his body. So it looks like they are changing things, but that begs the question, why bother showing the first design if you have this updated design? Or is the one that they showed the updated design and this is an older production still? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. This show is gonna be something. It's gonna be something. I'm... I'm excited, but...
but also I'm very, very hesitant on being too excited for it. I'm a little worried about it. I don't know how it's gonna pan out. We don't know anything about casting besides Charlie Cox right now. If we get any major updates, I will of course make videos on that because I'm, you know, I want to cover stuff like this in the future. And if you guys want to see me cover anything else about even Spider-Man or just San Diego Comic-Con in general, leave a comment and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!